Hi, just a quick video about my one-to-one -one chalk ballon build. There's lots of information on the internet about chalks and ballons. I would recommend you read uh, the late G3TXQ uh, Steve's web pages and also watch uh, YouTube's TRX Lab Peter. I'll put both links in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. And the reason for building a ballon is I'm contemplating um, possibly a fan dipole, a dipole or a doublet. Uh, so I need a one-to-one -one, uh, ballon choke uh, and I could expand the design in this video to be a, a four-to-one as well. There's not many parts in this build. The main component is the ferrite core, which is uh, fairly easy to source. It just in, you just incur postage and packing. Uh, what I found difficult to source in the UK was the PTFE uh, heat-resistant uh, wire, 18-gauge silver-plated. Uh, hard to find in short lengths, but I found a source, so I'll put a link in the description. And generally, there's two types of cores covering the HF amateur bands. Type 31, which covers the lower to middle bands, and Type 43, which is sort of middle to upper. Uh, but if you look on uh, Steve G3TXQ's page, that'll give you a guide of which you want to choose. And using PTFE wire is key because of the heat that could possibly uh, occur inside the ballon, depending on what use you're putting it to. And if you watch Peter TRX Labs uh, video 100, uh, you can see the effects of, of using the wrong wire. It could give you misleading results. So this choke ballon build takes four one meter lengths of the PTFE wire, um, 12 turns up one side of the car with two pairs of wires, as you can see here. You can just squeeze in 12 turns on that inside diameter. And remembering one turn is a pass through the center. And here you can see how both wires of the same color are connected together. And it took me two attempts, but you can just squeeze 12 turns in. So here we have the ballon made up loose in a box with an SO239 at one end. I've got two 100 ohm resistors in parallel at this end to simulate the 50 ohm load and a patch lead to um, the uh, analyzer. So there on the uh, 80 meters, 50 ohms, one to one. Uh, and if I move up to 40 meters, one to one. Thirty meters, twenty meters, uh, and so on through the bands one to one. So just going up a bit there with a the high frequency, uh, just as we get to to ten, virtually. So let's put that on ten. So success. Just need to put it in the box properly now. Uh, there's actually two terminals here for um, ladder line. And the same coloured wires are connected together on both sides of the core. So here I've got a, a coax feed at the bottom and two terminals at the top ready for ladder line. Now this is an IP rated weatherproof box, but rather than have it sealed, I've drilled a vent hole on the bottom. Uh, this is to allow the air to move in and out uh, because the air that is trapped inside uh, will form moisture when it gets warm. And to stop insects getting in, I glue a little bit of uh, net curtain around the hole, just a little ring of super glue and a little piece of net curtain to stop the insects. So all I need to do now before I put the ballon to use is to just put a little bit of silicon seal around the SO239 socket uh, and around those two bolt connectors as well, just to make sure there's no water getting inside. If you enjoyed this video, it's free to subscribe to YouTube channels. Just subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of when new videos are released. 73.